over ventilation, we're going to decrease preload, we're going to decrease the blood pressure. And why does that happen? Well, the first thing is why do we overventilate? Why do we squeeze too fast? Why do we squeeze too often? Why do we squeeze too deeply? Average BVM's volume is about 1,500 mLs for an adult, but you're really only looking in most average size adults to get 400 or 500 in. So if we give that bag a giant squeeze and knock out two thirds or push it against our leg and get everything out, we're actually overventilating the patient. And if we go too fast, we move air in and out too fast. This is positive pressure ventilation. Now, when I take a breath in, my chest, the pressure in my chest drops, which moves air in. Then when I exhale, my diaphragm comes back up, my ribs go in, I have increased pressure in my chest and that forces the air out. We think we breathe in, but really it's the air being taken in when we move our chest and our diaphragm. Our body needs that positive and negative pressure to help move blood through the vena cava. Remember, our venous system is very low pressure. So if I'm ventilating and ventilating and ventilating, I'm going to have too much positive pressure in there. It's going to be all positive pressure. It's going to reduce my preload, the blood that comes back to the heart. And when that happens, I'm going to decrease my blood pressure. So you can have a patient, you're saying, well, I'm doing a great job oxygenating this patient. I'm getting lots of ventilations in, you know, ventilating it 30 times a minute. But what happens? The blood pressure tanks. So sometimes we have to find the balance.